All right, here we are, tier four, the moment of truth. All right, let's see if we can get past the uh, tier four with racing dollar upgrades alone. But for a starter, we got speed record. So let's start with that. We'll work our way from left to right. Target is 224.5 kph. And of course, this one, if you have trouble hitting the target, you can always turn around at the beginning and take advantage of the full length of this gentle downhill. But we'll see if, uh, if I need to do that. Considering that I only have first tier racing dollar upgrades on this car and it's in critical condition, even though I've been trying to win by minimal margin, I may have to um, do just that and extend this length of the track here, make it go past the finish line basically by turning around at the beginning. That's close, but not quite enough. Fourth place with top speed of 221.04. So that means I can just do it over and over and over until the target comes down, or I can just turn around at the beginning and be done with it. I think I'll just turn around and be done with it. The speed has already, the target has already come down to 223. So if you turn around at the beginning, that allows us to go past the finish line. So we are able to accumulate just a little bit more. Actually, it does have a fairly good amount of track left after the finish line, doesn't it? So. should be able to easily set the... There you go. And don't even go off track, look at that. Hello, 227. That's a bit on the higher end of winning margin, isn't it? I do not need to go as fast. But once again, the downhill, so easy to just accelerate past the target speed, you know what I mean? I think it was 223 is what I needed to hit, almost 228. So, alright. The point being, it's a relatively easy speed record as long as you're okay with you know turning around at the beginning so yeah about 4 kph higher than the target that's all right that's not too bad so let's see this is a gold trophy number 7 right no 10 all right we're in tier 4 all right, so up next we got head-to-head -head at Brands Hatch in the circuit. So head-to-head, -head, rarely a problematic race. To check out some different finishes that this car comes in. Bots typically sport the uh, official liveries, like official paints. So anything that's uh, non-official but still available in the game, you're not going to see bots, the flag bots, sporting those. Anyway, the 
this car does need some livery still, doesn't it? We'll have to come up with something that I can do using only the basic vinyl packs since that's, you know, I don't think it's worth spending a whole lot of gold on vinyl packs, especially considering that once you fully upgrade the car, they're included. So that'll be a better use of your gold. Just nine racing dollars taken out, looks like, for going off track at some point. I don't remember where I went off track, though. Okay. So, there we go. That is... Gold trophy number 11 out of 45 we need. So, that means we are approaching, of course, the 25% completion mark. As you can see, 24% complete. So, 25% completion, of course, rewards us 8 gold and has a PR requirement of 53.2 and my current PR with first tier racing dollars, racing dollar upgrades, is 53 even. So, just like Lotus in tier 4, I am 0.2 PR points shy of the target. So, let's find out. Uh, you know, when your car's PR writing, rating is, or PR, I guess PR is a rating that R stands for rating. Anyway, PR is in written in red. That generally means you cannot go into race like this. This is the message that you get. So, in our case, for this one, we need to upgrade since there are no other car to purchase in this limited time series. So, thankfully, the second tier upgrades are immediate. They're gold upgrades, so let's get them all done. And we might as well get started on that third tier racing dollar upgrades as well. So, yeah, as I was anticipating, no luck for me in terms of getting through the tier 4 without gold upgrades. I do need gold upgrades, but not a big deal. We're going to need it anyway before we get to win the car, so... I don't even remember how much total. It was like 208 gold or something like that, I think. Um, you can check the my series overview video for confirmation. But I think that's about how much it costs, a couple of hundred gold and change. So now with the 14 upgrades of 28 available on board, with extra 7 on the way, now my new PR is 57.5, so we should be good. Alright, here we go, Mount Panorama. Two laps. And looks like a full grid of 22. Alright. Quite a fun array of colors. That's always nice to see, even for flag bots. That... What is that, like cobalt blue color? That's really sharp, isn't it? And the dark like British racing green color. I think that's what that green color kind of makes me think of. Those are pretty sharp as well and of course the one that we are all using is the default the standard Mercedes silver, right? Which is pretty cool too. It's just that when everybody drives the same color it gets a little annoying. <laughs> the monotony Right. Anyway, let's see, can I take the inside? Maybe. Squeezing by, coming out in 8th place. Approaching, cutting. And... 
gain a couple of extra ranks here. Fifth place. And we should be able to get into fourth place. Alright, going flat out, which is quite impressive for this car, considering the grip on this car, at least on the page, on the on the spec sheet, it's not exactly all that high. It's like 1.1 something, I think. Of course, now I do have some extra upgrades on, but I don't think you know, the grip boost is all that much. Not enough to make a significant difference in how the car handles. But so far, I mean, even before I put those upgrades on, relatively well balanced, I must say. And for a couple of hundred gold for the the price of the car since that's how you how much you have to spend to win this car it ain't so bad all right lap two will this one will kind of take our time and stay closer to my opponents here Yeah, and the side view mirror and the rear view mirror, you don't, sometimes they don't reflect who's behind you all the time. I don't know, I think it might be a device memory issue, but it's kind of funny because sometimes they all just disappear and <laughs> you lose them. Whoop. I guess I left enough of a gap for Granger to get by. Uh, We'll catch up to him. There you go, get behind. Oh, you want to race. I see. Forced elbow. There we go. Not bad. Not all that great handling either, but uh, not crashing through the walls or uh, skidding across forced elbow. Is is a good thing, you know. Oh, this guy wants to get around. No, 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 no. Not here. As much as I enjoy racing at Mount Panorama, I don't want to have to do that again. At least not right now. All right, so there we go. Once again, we can confirm, at least I can confirm, that uh, no gold rewards in this event without gold upgrades. So, yeah. Doing, doesn't quite work out for me, but uh, yeah, doesn't really matter since I'm running to win the car. Anyway, I'm going to need those remaining upgrades. Alright, unlock tier 5. More importantly, we're done with the 25%, so let's keep on rolling. But before that, of course, 
collect our 25% completion reward of 8 gold. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so we'll continue on with the next tier. So see you in the next video. Take care.